this little recipe with you guys. It's a very, very quick, easy and healthy version for a vegan soft scoop or soft serve ice cream type of thing. Um, I'm waiting to get some uh, bits and pieces that I've ordered from Amazon, but meanwhile I went into Lidl's and I get my bananas and fruit and everything from Lidl's anyway. Uh, but I saw this recipe online, I thought I would try it. Basically you get your bananas, and you cut them up, and you stick them in a freezer bag or Tupperware. Uh, some people say to do overnight, which I've done. So you have to let them defrost for a, about 10 minutes or so, so they're not rock hard. Then you put them into your blender, and you can add whatever you like, or you can just have banana. And basically, um, once it's mixed up, it kind of blends into like a soft serve ice cream type of a thing. Uh, so I am going to do the bananas and I'm also going to do use this like um, cocoa powder and as you can see suitable for vegetarians and vegans. So I got this from um, Lidl's. So I'm going to attempt it with this. I'm going to just put a little bit of the cocoa powder in. Um, so it'll be like chocolate and banana ice cream. Yummy! So, I'll let you know how I got on. This is what it looks like. I'm going to put it into a tub so you can see it better. And that's what it looks like. So, that's soft scoop. So, I am going to put this in the freezer to make it a little bit more ice creamy. But basically all that is, is the chocolate, cocoa, vegan and bananas. Without frozen. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you try it out. You can add anything you like to, to this. This is a very basic one. But you can add berries or anything you want. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, that added a little bit of this Oatly chocolate oat drink. Um, again, it's suitable for vegans um, because when you're putting frozen bananas in a blender, it needs just a tiny bit of liquid to help it along. Well, my one does anyway. So I just put probably, I don't know how much I put in. One glug, maybe. Um, but you can judge it for yourself depending on how well your blender's coping with the mixture and how soft you want your overall ice cream to be. So I hope that I hope that helped and hope you enjoyed. Lots of love and recipe. Bye.